snows adorned the dark. Outside, old axles and iron hoops rusting. Inside, the hammered anvil's short pitched ring, the unpredictable fan tail of sparks, or hiss when a new shoe toughens in water. The anvil must be somewhere at the centre, horned as a unicorn at one end square, set there immovable, an altar where he expends himself in shape and music. Sometimes, leather aproned, hairs in his nose, he leans out on the jam, recalls a clatter of hooves where traffic is flashing in rows, then grunts and goes in with a slam and a flick to beat real iron out.